welcome to civil engineering exam today we are going to see the mcq of building planning so the first question building basically consists of dashboards option a 1 option b 2 option c 3 option d 4 so the correct answer is option c 3 parts so next question load bearing structure are not suitable for option a loose soil option b hot set of soil so the correct answer is option a loose soil so next question residential buildings are option a bungalows option b apartment option c school dormitories option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option d all of mentioned so next question assembly buildings are option a marriage hall option b theaters option c assembly hall option d all of mentioned so the correct answer is option d all of mentioned so next question what is the full form of nbc option a national building code option b national building center option c national business center option d none of the above so the correct answer is option a national building code so next question the word orientation means to give the dash to the building option a proper alignment option b proper direction option c proper component option d proper elegance so the correct answer is option b proper direction so next question India is the country where summer season has the longest span. Option A true, option B false. So the correct answer is option A true. So next question, which among the following is not the principle of planning? Option A furniture requirements, option B aspect, option C prospect, option D respect. So the correct answer is option D respect. So next question, dash refers to the effect produced by driving the maximum benefits from the minimum dimension of the room. Option A, compactness. Option B, roominess. Option C, grouping. Option D, privacy. So the correct answer is option B, roominess. So next question, dash is nothing but the movement. Option A, circulation. Option B, privacy. Option C, grouping. Option D, ventilation. So the correct answer is option A circulation. So next question, which is not included in the building codes? Option A mechanical integrity, option B safety, option C providing employment, option D structural integrity. So the correct answer is option C providing environment, option C providing employment. So next question, circulation in the building is of dash types, option A1, option B2, option C3, option D4. So the correct answer is option B2. So next question, area of horizontal circulation may constitute a port dash of the total plan area of the residential building. Option A 10% to 15%, option B 20 to 25%, option C 30 to 35%, option D none of the above. So the correct answer is option B 20 to 25%. So next question, which is not that type of building? Option A, educational building. Option B, merchandise building. Option C, institutional building. Option D, domestic building. So the correct answer is option D, domestic building. So next question, area of the vertical circulation may constitute a board dash of the total plan area of the residential building. Option A, 1 to 4 percentage. Option B 6 to 8 percentage, option C 8 to 10 percentage, option D 12 to 15 percentage. So the correct answer is option C 8 to 10 percentage. So next question, dash is the planning of two or more related rooms in proximity of the each other. Option A grouping, option B elegance, option C aspect, option D prospect. So the correct answer is option A grouping. So next question, windows are should be minimum of dash of the floor area for, for any habitable room. Option A 10%, option B 20%, option C 30%, option D 40%. So the correct answer is option A 10%. So next question, which direction is suitable for kitchen? Option A south, option B southeast, option C southwest, option D west. So the correct answer is option B southeast. So next question, dash is the privacy when the building, option A internal privacy, option B external privacy. So the correct answer is option A internal privacy. So next question, what is the full form of BIM, option A building information modeling, option B business information modeling, option C building instruction modeling, 
ऑप्शन डी बिजनेस इंस्ट्रक्शन मॉडलिंग सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए बिल्डिंग इंफॉर्मेशन मॉडलिंग सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन आर ई आर ए मीन्स द रियल एस्टेट रेगुलेटरी अथॉरिटी ऑप्शन ए ट्रू ऑप्शन बी फॉल्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए ट्रू सो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द प्लेसिंग ऑफ वेरियस रूम्स और यूनिट्स ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर proper correlation of their function and due proximity with each other is known as option a aspect option b prospect option c circulation option d grouping so the correct answer is option d grouping so next question the term dash is used to mean the external views as seen from the certain rooms of the building option a aspect option b prospect option d elegance option d roominess so the correct answer is option b prospect So next question a dash line usually parallel to the plot boundaries and laid down the each case by the authority beyond which nothing can be constructed towards the site boundaries option a building line option b control line option c property line option d plot line so the correct answer is option a building line so next question dash used to mean the regulation of admitting more or less sunshine in the room option e elegance option b roominess option c circulation option d aspect so the correct answer is option d aspect so next question one of the important requirement of good planning is option a privacy option b furniture requirement option c prospect option d roominess so the correct answer is option a privacy so next question the term dash is used to refer the effect derived from the space of the room that is length width and height option a prospect option b sanitation option c roominess option d privacy so the correct answer is option c roominess so next question as principle of planning the term dash is used to mean architectural hygiene option a sanitation option b drainage option c water supply option d waste water so the correct answer is option a sanitation so next question dash in the building means the free pa- passage of clean air in the building option a habitation option b ventilation option c protection option d sanitation so the correct answer is option b ventilation so next question the part of the building constructed below the ground level is known as option a plinth option b superstructure option c basement option d foundation so the correct answer is option d foundation so next question the part of the building above the ground level and up to the floor level immediately above the ground is known as option a plinth area option b formation area option c ground level option d plinth level so the correct answer is option d plinth level so next question what should be the average height of the plinth option a 300 to 500 meter option b 1 to 2 meter option c 300 to 450 mm option d 50 to 100 mm so the correct answer is option c 300 to 450 mm so next question the dash provide support to the occupants furnitures pictures and equipment of the building option a plinth option b a ramp option c floor option d lifts so the correct answer is option c floor so next question dash is the part of the building constructed above the plinth level option a superstructure option b structure option c foundation option d plinth so the correct answer is option a superstructure So next question dash is the topmost part of the building which provides covering to the entire assembly under the occupants option a roof option b ceiling option c coping option d parapet wall so the correct answer is option a roof so next question the full form of bis is option a board of indian standard option b bureau of indian standards option c bureau of international specifications option d board of international standards so the correct answer is option b bureau of indian standards so next question which of the following type of plans is the plan at roof level option a foundation plan option b floor plan option c terrace plan option d structural plan and of typically floor so the current answer is option c terrace plan so next question the simple zone below represent option a brick and brick machinery option c stone and stone machinery option c cement concrete option d wood so the correct answer is option a brick and brick machinery 
So the symbol given below represent option A sliding door, option B revolving door, option C stairs, option D windows. So the correct answer is option B revolving door. So next question, the symbol given below represent option A wash machine, option B plain kitchen sink, option C refrigerator, option D re rectangular bath. The, so the correct answer is option B plain kitchen sink. So next question, the symbol given below represent option A ceiling fan, option B bracket fan, option C exhaust fan, option D fan regulator. So the correct answer is option C exhaust fan. So next question, subdivision layout plan which shall be drawn on the scale of not less than option A 1 is to 100, option B 1 is to 500, option C 1 is to 1000, option D 1 is to 50. So the correct answer is option B 1 is to 500. So next question, the plan of buildings and elevations and sections accompanying the notice shall be drawn in the scale option A 1 is to 10, option B 1 is to 50, option C 1 is to 100, option D 1 is to 500. So the correct answer is option C 1 is to 100. So next question, a door should not be located in the center of the wall. Option A true, option B false. So the correct answer is option A true. So next question, the minimum area of window should be dash of the floor area in case of public buildings. Option A 10%, option B 15%, option C 20%, option D 25%. So the correct answer is option C 20%. So next question, a window should be located on the dash side of the room as seen from the point of view of fresh air. Option A eastern, option B northern, option C western, option D southern. So the correct answer is option B northern. So next question, the area covered by the building on all floors including the cantilevered portions if any including walls and columns is known as option A floor area, option B carpet area, option C build up area, option D plinth area. So the correct answer is option C build up area. So next question, floor area equal to plinth area minus area of wall, option A true, option B false. So the correct answer is option A true. So next question, what is the full form of FSI? Option A, floor space index. Option B, full space index. So the correct answer is option A, floor space index. Again, we will see in next video. Thank you.